Hi everyone. In this video we're going to create a simple destructible object that has a destructible prefab and we're going to do it all from scratch. So I'm going to start by making a cube and placing it into the scene. And I'm going to call this the undestroyed test cube. Now I'm going to assign a material to it. And I'm going to pick some type of metal. Brass will work. Okay, now I need to add the destructible script. If I can remember what it's called. And now I'm going to show you what it uh, does when you don't have a destroyed prefab. It's going to ex break into chunks. And this is just a particle effect and it's based off of whatever material we assigned. Okay, so now what we're really interested in doing is creating a a prefab that is going to link to this when it's destroyed. So here I've duplicated it and called it test cube piece 1. And then I'm going to set the scale on this so that it makes up one of our walls. It's going to be 0.1 for the scale. And I'll have to tweak this as I go. Uh, basically, I'm going to build a box uh, so that all the pieces of this cube will fly apart when it's destroyed. I'm just building the walls here. In reality, you'd probably do this in a modeling program. Okay, so now I'm done. I have my undestroyed object on the left and my destroyed prefab on the right. And now what I want to do is take the pieces that are going to be the debris and I want to parent it under a new game object. And so what I've done here is I duplicated the uh, undestroyed test cube and now I'm just parenting the pieces underneath it and this is important, lining it up by holding the V key and snapping the vertices. And now I'm just going to go through and remove like the mesh renderer on the parent object because we don't need the, the destructible script, the cube, or any of that. So now as you can see I have these test pieces underneath the destroyed test cube game object and the game object has nothing on it. Now I'm ready to make a prefab out of it. And I think I'll just leave it called destroyed test cube. Now I'm deleting the prefab from the scene and I'm ready to hook it up to my undestroyed test cube. First I'll add a rigid body and I'm gonna make it kind of heavy, a mass of three. And that reminds me I forgot to put rigid bodies on the destroyed pieces so I'm just gonna select all the pieces on the destroyed test cube add a rigid body, set its mass to 0.75, and now I'm going to save it by dragging it back over the prefab and delete it from the scene. And now I just need to assign it as the destroyed prefab. And when I destroy it, you see it's been replaced with the destroyed prefab that I created the destroyed test cube. And it should work with all the weapons. Just illustrating some more destruction here. So one thing I thought would be interesting is to put some objects inside the destroyed prefab. And so I'm going to take the cog box, open it up, pull out some of the cogs from it, and put it in the destroyed test cube. So one thing you'll notice here is I'm parenting the new cog pieces underneath the destroyed test cube. That's important, as well as lining them up inside of it. 
But that's pretty much it as far as uh, what to do, how to do that. Just line them up, rotate them how you like them. Make sure that they're parented underneath it. And then save your prefab. Snapping the vertex. And then I'm just dragging it over the other one. Deleting it from the scene. And now we can see what that looks like. And you can see the little cog pieces that were in the middle of it. So basically a destroyed prefab that has uh, pieces inside of it is no different than any other destroyed prefab that might have uh, mesh chunks or anything like that, like a wall. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and thanks for supporting Destroy It.